Hey y'all, we came on out to Red, White & Blue the day after Wednesday. So on Wednesdays, Red, White & Blue puts things, more things half off that were full price the week before. They do that on Wednesdays. So we're out here on Thursday just to see if there's any more purses, jewelry, knickknacks, whatnots, doodads, and trinkets that I can pick up for resale on YouTube and eBay, mainly on YouTube. So make sure you hit that notification bell, click all. Make sure that bell turns black so you're notified of all my live sales, buy it nows, auctions, giveaways, these video uploads. And when I first walked in here, look at this beautiful trinket box. So y'all know I love my trinket boxes. Look at that. See so the moon all the way around. Somebody made this beautiful box and I like it a lot. So that will hold a lot of stuff in there. So we're gonna pack that one up for sure. We are packing it up. Wow, that's a cool fish. Look at this crazy fish. I mean, if you're into home decor and things like that, look how fun that is. It says the Bahamas on it, but that's okay. I don't know if I can hang this out there. So it's $14.99. See if that little guy will set up. I don't guess he will. As I'm filming, I'm also looking around to see if there's anything else. Now, this would be a very neat perfume bottle tray. This does not look like a Kirkland's or anything like that. This is pretty well made. I don't think it's vintage, but if you look at the edges, to me, I think I like that. And y'all know I buy stuff like that for resale also. Oh, look at this. I think we will get it. I don't know anything about that brand right there. If y'all do comment below. But that goes with jewelry and purses and things like that. So we're going to get that one also. We're going to get it. We are going to get it. And y'all saw this one before. So here's another trinket box. We saw this in a past video. Still haven't packed that one up. $5.99. Let me see this one right here though. This is a super cute jar. Looks like it's made out of wood, hand painted, red on the bottom. Let's open this up and see what's inside. So here's the high inside of this trinket box. So that would hold, you can put crystals in there, fun stuff, jewelry, whatever you want. And it's red. That makes it even better. That makes it even better. This could be repainted. Look at that leather on top. I don't know what you put right there, so that opens up, I'm sure. Kimco. Let's go over here and look at the, I'm gonna try to eyeball the purses on the wall, but look at them right here hanging on the rack. So you have your Stone Mountain. Oh, there's that Michael Kors we saw the other day. So we're really looking for the things that are on sale that weren't on sale when I came in here the other day. Plus anything new that they put out, because they do, I think they stock daily. Universal Thread. Dragonfly. I've seen this honeybee brand before, this crossbody. I'm not gonna get that one. Michael Kors. Ooh, what is this beauty right now? What is this? Oh, uh, well, Amy Kestenberg wallet, y'all. That's a great brand right there. This was not in here several days ago, so that is new stock for sure. This wallet looks like it has not been used. We are going to get this one for sure. Love it. Older coach. Ooh, a little fossil keychain wallet like that what do y'all think i'm gonna carry this one around for just a little bit and we'll think on this one it's in good condition though stitching's good looks worn 
but in a good way. So we may get this one. I don't know if this piece right here is old or not, but it's really beautiful. I looked at the inside. There's not any designer mark on it. Look how pretty that is. And here's the back. So it looks like it might be patent leather, but again, no tags on the inside to tell me. But that one's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. He'd be the only one that had one like that probably. Oh my gosh, y'all. What in the world? An old Adunian Bork. But look at that. It's kind of stained up. So Kiss Lock Adunian Bork wallet. We saw that one already. I just like to come in here and see if they've got anything new soon after. So here are the new selections on the wall. Like that Dooney right there. Coach, and then look at these buckets. The bucket by Martin Jacobs. Wonder what that vintage purse is right there, the tan one. More buckets, that one, Tory Birch. This looks like an old fossil. I mean, not old fossil, old coach. I'm betting that, that wallet there's Brahmin. Look at a little bit of the jewelry right here, just the pendant parts. Look at this. I would like to think that that is jade and sterling. And I would love to say that those round beads right there might be gold. They're gold color. They're either that or vermeil. That amethyst. I think we need to have a sale this weekend. An entire bag of crystals. What would you do with those? This area has pretty much been cleaned out, y'all. Wow, nothing left. We're going to head to the whatnots and new doodads, knickknacks, and trinkets that are on the wall. But we're going to walk down the top of this aisle. And I'm looking both here and across the way, just trying to eyeball things as a whole to see if there's anything that we cannot live without. Oh, look at this moon shelf. You could decorate this right here with a bunch of jewels. So I like those Martin Jacobs bucket purses that are on the wall. I may check one of those out later. This look, what is this made of? So it's acrylic, I think. But I wonder if that's one that would glow in the dark.
Y'all you know, I've told you before, I don't like to come into, what is this, one? something bronze. I don't like to come into thrift stores um, too soon after I've been here, because I feel like sometimes they're not, you're not, I'm not giving them time to bring more stuff out. New stuff out. But then some days I want to test it and come on back in quickly to see if they do have more new stuff soon after I've been here. What are these? Very tall black bases. Love this Egyptian. Oh, it is made in Egypt too. Look at that. Wow. Nice wood trinket box. It's not 99 cents. I don't know if somebody ripped it off. If y'all ever see any stuff like this, these are Russian lacquer boxes and they can run pretty expensive. So you don't ever want to leave one of these behind. We are packing this one up for sure. I love them. Let's take a look up close. crystal cat we're not gonna get it though because it's got looks like a little bit maybe damage to it this to me looks like a laurel birch cat or at least laurel birch inspired y'all look at this one and you know what this could be used for look at that long tail guess what it could be used for a ring holder this could hold your rings we're gonna get it we're getting that one for sure we'll bring that to the sale so only purses are the things you can ask me for quotes on, or that I prefer you ask me for quotes on um, during a video, but not any little knick-knacky, what not do day stuff, because that's hard to keep up with. Purses are a little bit easier if the video is a same-day video. Not sure if this has any value to it or not. Look at this great. This could be a paperweight. Oliver Wendell Holmes. And here's the back. So this is from 1970. this crystal piece here. Oh, made in West Germany. How nice is that? Crystal vase. So to me, I think this is beautiful. We sell purses and jewelry and perfume bottles and things like that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and pack up this one because it is crystal and it's made in West Germany, so it's vintage for sure. We put some beautiful flowers on it. Not sure what this crazy fun owl is made of. made in Greece. Look at this one. This looks old and vintage, but it's not. It's actually home goods. It's heavy. We're going to pass on it. We're going to pass on it. Look at this one with all the moon. This, who I think it is, was hoping that was, was 
hoping that was Brighton, but it's not. It's not Brighton. Maybe this one is. Okay, let's show you here. One World by Brighton. This one is a Brighton crossbody, y'all. Strap looks good on it. Croc embossed. I can polish that right there, right up. How many of y'all love the vintage Brighton crossbodies? And here's another one. Another Brighton. Another Brighton. Oh my gosh, you have got to be kidding me. So I found one of these in here just a few days ago. These are vintage coaches. Y'all know I love my vintage coaches. In that live um, video the other day when I was showing y'all live um, lots of my jewelry, I showed some vintage coaches I picked up in here. Look at this. I have one of these. Now I've got another. We're getting it. We are getting it. Take a look at the inside though. The exterior's in great condition. I mean, I usually take lotion condi or leather conditioner and put on these when I find them. This one is still in great condition, but I mean, there's not, I don't see any rubs on it. I don't see any rubs on the front of it. It's crossbody and handbag. Look at that hardware. Wow. Well, 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 love it, love it, love it so much. You know I do. Here's the inside. If y'all are new here, there's one thing we say about that right there is it is going home with CJ. That means I'm taking it to the house. I don't know if we saw this finished bag last week or not. Look at this one, y'all. I don't know what this is worth. So it's a kiss lock, vintage bag, red interior, and here is the brand. I have, I don't think I saw that last week. So y'all tell me what y'all know about that brand. Educate me. Is this leather right here? Look at this. Here's 75. I think I spotted another Brighton crossbody right here. So I don't buy these often. I want them to be unusual. I believe this one is unusual, y'all. Look at this, and very clean. This was not in here a few days ago. So that tells me that their turnover of new inventory is pretty often. I think we may get this one. I don't think anyone ever used it. It's that nice. So this is this is not real uh, calf hair, but it's a Brighton. This may be an unusual one. I'm not sure. Look at that. Let's take a look at the inside. So this I've seen this several times. Not sure if I'm going to get it or not. Because it would have to be one particular person probably to buy it from me. But it's great condition. Washington Nationals. And the inside looks to be good condition. Let's see if there's any other surprises. Any surprises?